One year ago today, one of Atlanta's biggest hospitals, AMC Wellstar, announced it was closing. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy is digging to show how the hospital's closure is impacting the community, what's being done to fill that gap, and what the future may hold for that site. Today, the building off Boulevard Northeast, where the hospital once stood, remains empty as Fulton County leaders work to figure out what's next. In the short term, the reopening of a facility called Buggy Works in East Point. It's a clinic that's a joint effort between the county and Morehouse School of Medicine. This is the first step in continuing to provide quality health care in South Fulton County. But Fulton County Commissioner Chair Robert Pitts says there's also a long-term plan to get another hospital up and running in the county within the next couple of years. Pitts adds he thinks developers have other plans for the decommissioned medical complex. There's no better piece of real estate in Atlanta than that piece of property. Proximity to downtown Atlanta, proximity to Expressway, and more importantly, proximity to uh, our international airport. But community members like Darius Bowdry say leaders need to do more for the people who are now left without medical care in their neighborhood. If you're going to move to the hospital, you're going to have to provide the transportation. You're going to have to accommodate them. If you're taking away their way of life or their comfort points, the, what they were used to, you got to replace it with something that's equivalent. Earlier this week, Atlanta City Council heard a proposal to turn the old hospital into a crisis support center. The measure is currently being considered by the county's Public Safety Committee. In a statement, Wellstar says, we're committed to a thoughtful process to determine the best use of the future of these sites. We will continue to talk with members of the community and evaluate potential solutions. In the meantime, Darius has a simple reminder for leaders. Even if they're not physically gonna vote for you, you still the people that they're gonna have to, they, they're still the people that you're gonna have to represent. Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News.